Hi, I'm Carolyn Forster and I'm going to talk to you today about quilting your quilts by hand but making the quilting process quicker. And what we're going to look at today is we're going to look at big stitch quilting. So it's not your fine, tiny stitch, thin thread quilting, it's your big stitches, thick thread, bigger needle quilting. So it's going to make the whole process grow a lot quicker. And I know from experience of teaching hand quilting that lots of the students love the, the therapeutic value, they love the hand quilting, but they find getting the stitches small or as small as they'd like them to be um, a real frustration to start with. And we've always said, well, keep your stitches bigger and the, you know, they'll get smaller with practice. As long as they're rhythmic, it'll be great. However, some people don't just aren't comfortable with small stitches and basically you're not the first person to be not comfortable with that in that quilts over the generations have been quilted with big stitches and thick thread the quilt that i have um on the table here it's a it's falling to pieces it's a scrappy quilt and it's been stitched with pretty thick thread. One of the theories about the thick thread, um, which whether it's true or just folklore, was that when they had the feed sacks and they were cutting up the fabric from the feed sacks, the feed sacks are sewn together with like a looped stitch and if you pull that looped stitch you get a continuous length of thread and that thread, so as not to be wasted, was then used subsequently to make the quilting stitches on some of the quilts. Some of the old quilts that are big stitch quilted, because they were big stitch quilted because it was a quicker way of quilting and they were quilts that were used all the time, hence the utility stitching, um, they then end up in a state of disrepair like this one and perhaps over the years have been discarded. But you can still find plenty of examples of big stitch quilting on old quilts. So um, they were using sort of string or thick thread. Today we tend to use something more like the cotton pearl thread. This is a Valdani cotton pearl thread and this is a size 12. Size 12 and size um, 8 work really well. So um, you can try and get hold of something like that. They're usually readily available in your quilt shop. The other thing to have is bigger needles. And I tend to use the betweens needles as I would for fine hand quilting. But instead of size um, 10 or 11, I tend to use um, these size five. And I'll talk a little bit more about the needles when we thread some thread in a moment. But I just want to show you how versatile the big stitch quilting can be. So we'll move those out of the way. We'll put the book down here. So as I said, this is an old quilt. You can actually see on the back, it's pretty coarse. It's a pretty well-worn quilt, but you can quite clearly see you've got bigger stitches and you've got bigger thread. Now today, when I make quilts, um, this is to our advantage in a lot of ways. This was a particular quilt. It's always been a favorite of mine. It's made using a linen fabric, a cotton linen fabric. So it's got that bit more texture and that bit more chunky. So because of that, if I'd have quilted it with fine hand quilting, some of the stitching really would have been lost within the weave of the fabric. So I've quilted it all with big stitches and with the thicker thread. It meant that when you've got acres, acres of quilting in the middle here, it grows really quickly. And again, the big cables around the outside edge here, it grows really quickly because you've got an amplified design with your bigger stitches. This little quilt here, this is a sampler that's part of um, uh, the cl a class that we do. Um, it has the big stitch using the Amish waves um, in the border here. And you can see how that shows up really nice contrast on the, um, on the blue fabric there. But again, it's going to grow really quickly. So this particular quilt, this is the Australian bush quilt um, or the Wagga Wagga. Um, and this particular quilt has been quilted in an amplified version of wine glass or teacup or really sort of like salad plate type size of circle was the template for that. So it's a really quick design to quilt because you're quilting it as, a, as an undulating line. Um, and with the big stitch and the big um, thick thread, again, it's going to work up really quickly. On this particular quilt, you can see we've quilted in the ditch and that works really well with the big stitch because if you do that with fine hand quilting, you often can't see the stitches and with the big stitch, you can see the stitches. So you'll get added texture and visual interest. 
this last little one on the bottom here. This again, we've used the big stitch and we've used the thick thread. We've got the amplified cable along here and we've just outlined quilted um, round here. Again, big stitches, thick thread, and it all works up a lot quicker. So I'm going to show you a quilt that I've been working on over the top. And the quilt that I've got here, it's been set up in my hoop ready to quilt. You can see I've already quilted some areas of it, this block in particular. So it's a, it's a very straightforward design just to show you how to get to grips with the big stitch quilting 